This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole. But the real star of today's show is the latest build by the guys at R Factor Studio 397. Oh, I gotta mute my system. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Twitch people, you should be seeing me now. Uh, when I stream in the mornings for the pit stop, I use a different computer. Uh, I had increased my bit, bit rate, and apparently there's some max on what you can throw towards uh, Twitch. Anyway, we should be online for Twitch, and this is the first time we've had a on-track video in a few days on Twitch. So I apologize for those mix-up. But the real star today show is R Factor 2. The guys behind R Factor 2, that be Studio 397 and ISI, they have brought us their latest build with a whole bunch of updates and changes and fixes. And R Factor has come such a long way since its release. And then on top of it, and something I'm very excited about and why I'm actually doing this spontaneous show is Sebring. And it's not just another variation of Sebring, but this is the first highly accurate, in their wording, version of, uh, uh, a high, highly accurate laser scanned version of Sebring. So this is the real deal. When you think of uh, the great tracks, it's 2018. And the best of the best tracks, regardless of what sim you look at, are the ones that were truly laser scanned. Because you're talking about within millimeters of accuracy. So if there's a bump, a ripple, a crap, a crack, a curbing, uh, whatever it is that makes that track and gives it personality. I remember we were at Sonoma many years ago. And uh, Justin Wilson actually was the driver. And he was driving iRacing. And he was at Indy, funny enough, even though we were at Sonoma. And right as he off pulled off pit lane, the, there's a little bump. And when he hit that bump, he laughed out loud, like just blown away because he's like, that is exactly where that bump is. And that's what I'm getting at when I'm talking about laser scanning a track to get the most or the best of it. Uh, it, it really does make a difference. Not only are the corners, the elevations, the cambers of the track there but every bump every crack every curving everything that makes the car the track unique so um it's been a while since i've done r factor i've made a complete component change so i really didn't have anything optimized so right now i'm not looking for perfect driving what i'm looking for is just really seeing the track um sure i'll get some feel out of it but you know to get the best feel we'll feel the d distinct properties of the track but we probably won't get to the point where we're like really optimized just due to my situation here but i want you to see it because this is available and it could you know go unmissed and it to me it's a very very big deal uh let me take down my graphic oh that would have been tragic i am in the corvette c7r funny enough the car i drove last night uh, the other thing I'll say about Sebring, you know, this is one of my favorites, and it is a very iconic track if you think about it. There are only a handful of 24-hour events that happen in the United States, and one of them is at Sebring. Um, so, and myself, I have run, oh, I've run so many races at Sebring, whether you're talking endurance races, sprint races. I have run Sebring in every sim made, essentially, and I'm very excited to see this because this is sort of our factor taking another step forward in the right direction with what is already a great sim but just continues to get better. One of those evolving sims. We can identify some sims as evolving. Whoa, this thing's got a lot of power. All right, so let's take a good look at the dimensions. That's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, in my mind, you know, not to name another sim, but iRacing has a laser scan version of Sebring. So, you know, we can use that knowing that if it's laser scanned, it's going to be pretty darn accurate as far as the ribbon, I like to call it, the layout of the track itself. Ignore what you see, but just the, the layout itself. And this is looking pretty good. You can see Sebring is a pretty flat track. A little camber in some of the corners, but it's really flat. You're in Florida. Florida's pretty flat, if you've ever been there. I moved to Florida once, had a mountain bike. I was really good at mountain biking, climbing massive elevation. I got to Florida and I said to the bike shop, I'm like, where do you guys mountain bike? He's like, oh, such and such park. I'm like, you mean that hill? Uh, a six story building would be about the t tallest thing you're gonna find in all of Florida, or at least Southern Florida. All right, let's get back to the track. Bumpy. That's the other thing that comes to mind when you think about Sebring. It's a very bumpy track. Ripples and bumps all over the thing. 
looking at it, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean this in a good way, I would almost guess that this layout was iRacing. It's so exact uh, to what I'm accustomed to. Now this is where it's really bumpy, down at the final corner. Don't know what this car can do around the corner. I should check in with you guys on audio, video. I'm just taking it really easy because I... Oh, yeah, it's bumpy. Oh, yeah, it's bumpy. Woo, this thing's got some power. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. Oh, I would have liked to hide... Oh, no, 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 no. Almost looped it. I didn't really get to see the inside wall. We're going to watch a replay. Ooh, I, I got damage from that curbing. I hurt the left, uh, the right front of the car right there. Oh, you got to like that. I'd like, I want, let's see a replay right now. Let's see what we did there that hurt the car. Let's just go back a little bit so we can get a good look at the track. There we go. Excellent. Thank you, Kimber. <laughs> I remember I made that one mistake. It was a Corvette prototype with Mustang sampling as the sponsor. And I, uh, just reading it, said, oh, that Mustang. Uh, I think it's funny when companies, even if it's, I don't care what the company, Viper, whatever. Well, Viper what? Viper head. <laughs> kind of funny when you're company's name is Viper and you put it on a Corvette. It just seems out of place to me. Yeah, look at this. This is really, really nice. Look at, look at what you're seeing here on the side of the track now that we're not driving. The track has a lot of real life look to it. Um, this video doesn't even look like a video game to me, to be honest with you. That's an exceptional. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the car doing some bouncing on the bumps of Sebring. You know, if I drive a version of Sebring and it's really, really, really flat like a billiard table, I immediately uh, resist it uh, because I know, and I've never driven real life Sebring, but I've heard every driver talk about it and how bumpy it is. And then I've driven it in Sims with quality versions and sure enough, it's bumpy as can be. Uh, and those bumps are something you have to drive around. It's part of what makes Sebring unique is that bumpy feature it changes the way you can apply the, the gas or how much uh, uh, jacking you can do by oversteering the steering wheel. Uh, those things will affect the handling of the car and, and the bumps add to it. Really? Oh, look at the, the airport in the background even. Nice. Very nice. All right, we'll just play a little bit more of this, and then we're going to take a, a track, and maybe I'll be quiet, and I don't have much of a setup or anything ready to go, but maybe we'll try to give it a little more pace just to see how it feels more at a performance level than a touring level. And again, this isn't going to be a long show. I just, you know, a lot of people, I'm not sure if you uh, realize that this even came out for our factor today. Whoa, loosey-goosey there. All right, we're almost to that point of damage. Yeah, really beautiful version of the track. Very impressive. Everything about it looks spot on. I mean, just even some of the, the, the features off the track. This is some of their best work yet. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. It was right here. That hurt the car. So that could be an issue. Not sure why that would have hurt the car. Did I blow a tire or something? <laughs> All right, let's give it another run. Beautiful.
you know, Hama, as you say that, well, R Factor 1, when it came out, it wasn't even, you couldn't even recognize it as the same game as what it evolved into. Um, and R Factor 2 has had a very similar life where, you know, it came out and it needed some help, it needed some work, it needed some updates, it needed some content. And over time, especially since Studio 397 got involved, we've seen that evolution. And now, I think it might be one of the best Sims that just doesn't get enough attention or put up on the pedestal enough. Now, things like the McLaren Shadow or World's Fastest Gamer competition will help. Um, you talk to a lot of guys who are really, really, you know, sim enthusiasts who play R Factor and, sorry, I'm talking, um, and, and have it dialed in. That's the thing. And, you know, I think you get accustomed to your sim and you forget that at some point in the beginning of time, you spent some hours getting your controls, not just mapped. Mapping is simple. Dialed in. Do I have the right amount of force feedback? Do I have the right settings if you know your wheel has settings do you have those where they belong and where it makes the car feel right and you got to put that time in and that's one thing that you know again right now i didn't have a lot of time going into this uh in terms of i didn't have a lot of advanced warning and i didn't have this wheel or my pedals dialed in so right now i'm kind of playing in that like i just turned it on uh, it might be a little better than that because I think I'm using like my Bodner settings. I'm driving a little slow now, but I did go off track, so. too much gas you see that you hear that this car is a beast I love it oh. I haven't touched too much rotation right now I think I think I'm on uh, 900 and I might prefer 540 Oh, way late, way late, Cole, way late, Cole. That one did not hurt the car, by the way. Feels really nice. Like I said, I didn't get it dialed in, but I, I'm not having any uh, real difficulty other than maybe a touch more rotation than I'd like. Oh, overshot again. We got to brake harder. I can give it more. I didn't hear much lockup. That gas pedal, though, I can't drive this beast as hard as I'm trying to drive it with the gas pedal. I got to be a lot smoother. Part of the bumpiness and part of the massive amount of horsepower in this car. Braking is really incredible. We're not reviewing the car here. Oh, I tell you, I'm playing this thinking this is not only a great track, but a great car for this track. This is, oh yes, we must do this. kind of in love right now to be honest with you even though I'm driving very weak I have to pick up the pace huh
Whoa, whoa. too hard on the gas. Too hot into that one. Ooh, too much gas again. even see the back side of the grandstands over there on the right. the pace. Alright, what mode do I have this in? Should we see it in the crowd? Go ahead and start the race. See how long I survive. Yeah, I'm a little aggressive on the gas. <laughs> Whoa! Formation lab. Oh, I don't know. sounded very Konami. Green flag! Go, go, go! Whoa, 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 hey. Jar. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. I want to get the race going, what I'll do is be able to get your replay of like the pack instead of me who can't hang with the pack today. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All right, there we go. Let's switch to uh, instant replay. Of course. So yeah, an incredible version of C-Ring. I do like it. I, I mean, this is just uh, my first look at it, really. I haven't seen it any more than you have at this point. Uh, great work by the guys at Studio 397 ISI R-Factor 2. Uh, you can see that it's not the same game as when it came out or even close to it. This is great. I mean, you see that dirt effect off the gray car there as you put two wheels off a little bit. Uh, the bumpiness you'd expect. The layout is just impeccable. I mean, it's exactly like... I didn't have to give it any thought. It's like, this is the Sebring I know. Uh, and anything different than this, I would then have to relearn everything. Uh, so... Um... <laughs> um... I don't know if I'd go with way more bumpy. Um... Comparison wise, the difference, Angel, right off the bat, is the physics difference between iRacing and R Factor. To be honest with you, if you were to take this version and put it into iRacing, take their version and put it into this, and, you know, not tell me, I might not even notice right away. The, the ribbon, the layout, the, the angle of the corners, the elevation, everything feels so right on that my brain didn't even have to think about anything other than let's adjust the brake marks for the Corvette at this track. So um, I, I feel it's a really, really nice version. As far as the amount of bumpiness, I'd have to go drive iRacing right now to say, but they're both quite bumpy. That's what makes Sebring. And I don't know what Sebring has done to change the track. Tracks do change year by year uh, as they weather and uh, occasionally get repaved or have certain sections worked on. So it's hard for me as a guy who doesn't drive Sebring in real life each year to know uh, those kind of idiosyncrasies. For me, what do I know? I know the ribbon. I know the layout. I know that it should be fairly bumpy, which makes it an interesting track to drive, makes it a unique track to drive. Uh, which is why Sebring's always been one of my favorites and why as soon as I heard it was out, I'm like, well, I don't have a lot of time, but I got to at least get out there and do it. So anyway, I really wanted you guys to know about it. I wanted you guys to realize that this wasn't just another track release by Studio 397, but this was their first highly accurate laser scanned track. I think they've done other laser scanned, if I'm not mistaken, but not to this one's degree of accuracy and uh, detail. Um, highly accurate, as they put it. So, anyway, I I had a lot of fun doing it. I wish I could find a, a series uh, to run in this uh, combination, because this is very, very cool. It was one of the best uh, drives of Sebring I've ever had in sim racing. So that's saying a lot, and well-deserved, and congratulations to uh, Studio 397 and ISI and R-Factor 2. So that is going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, if you're intrigued, go out there and try it for yourself. Let me know. Send me an email, sean at thesimpit.com, and let me know your thoughts on the new Sebring, laser scan Sebring for R-Factor 2. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.